Superintendent of Customs, Emanuela Newman, looks back on her experience during the three months course. She stated that it wasn't only rigorous, but also life-changing. We are going to implement all that we have learned from here, that we can assure the college, that all that we have been taught is going to be put in good use in our future endeavors. And uh, yes, that I can assure you, it's, it's, we're going to put it in use. Deputy Superintendents of Customs, Daniel John and Omini Abri, gave us some insights on what really changed them during their stay. I mean, for the first two months, it was very, very intensive because it's one of those things that we've never experienced before in customs. It's just a kind of a new something, but it's really worth it at the end of the day because when we come to the second semester per se, everything in that second semester was a customs job, custom procedures that has been taken there. But the first one is just a kind of a new thing to transform the service. So I think it's a very good one. We came here and saw that um, uh, we actually know nothing. And um, I'm glad that I'm living here a changed person, um, most especially in time management, um, in writing service paper, and um, a host of other things. You know, discipline and all that. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot and I'm hoping to also put that um, into practice once we leave here soon. As Superintendent of Customs, Chinyiri Abugu enjoys her time with the band, we spared a moment to find out her experiences. Everybody that comes in here as a student, going out, you will never be the same because they will impact the knowledge that you've never learned before. So I am happy to be here today to be part of the graduates. Though it wasn't easy, but it's worthwhile. Deputy Superintendent of Customs Sa'ad Sa'ad and Omofolake Tosin tagged teamwork and resilience as their major takeaway. Having been in the field for quite some time and coming back to the college and seeing the standard that we are being put through to serve and as ambassadors when going back to the field to communicate, it's like reshaping the entire way we think so that we'll be able to meet up to challenges that are out there. We know what is expected of us and we know the expectation. The course is, is a very good one, so I would really like to encourage my other colleagues and um, maybe the, the other ones that have not had the opportunity to come for this course, one thing I will tell them is let's be determined. Determination leads to success. Once you are determined, have an open mind. You can do it and you will do it. Guest of Honor, Comptroller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ali retired, represented by Acting Deputy Comptroller General, Human Resource and Development, Abdullahi Babani, gave some words of encouragement to the graduates as much as expected of them after their return to the field. It is my expectation that your stay here has really awoken your interest for seeking for further learning. So it is my expectation, periodically, you will continue to review your lecture notes, you will continue to review your study material so that you will internalize the materials. Once you are able to internalize the knowledge, then you can impact the knowledge on your colleagues and subordinates. It was certainly a night to remember, and the Nigeria Customs Service expect these officers to come out better, wiser, and stronger in the performance of their statutory functions. Abdul Karim Zermi, NCBN, Abuja.